Women have been running an undercover operation. Roger O'Neill reports tonight one of the people they caught in their snare is not exactly a hardened criminal. The inmates at Leavenworth call him Birdman. His real name is Jeffrey Peters, sentenced to a year in prison for transporting one Merlin Falcon across state lines without a permit. And I needed a bird for a particular set of experiments in, in breeding birds that I, that I was going to run. And at the time, uh, I was able to put in the back of my mind that the, the fact that, that that was a violation of the law. Peters is an internationally known researcher in studying birds of prey, but he was one of 41 falconers who fell into a federal trap called Operation Falcon. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, which ran the three-year undercover sting, claimed it had cracked a thriving international black market involving the illegal sale of federally protected birds. But Peters, like most of the others so far, were never accused of selling birds. Their crimes were the result of illegally obtaining birds for research and breeding purposes. I had no intention of selling this bird, eating it for dinner or anything like that. Uh, you know, my, my intention was to, to preserve it and propagate it. Peters has been raising raptors in his backyard for 25 years. His cages, called a hawk muse, are more impressive than his house. He was a respected biology teacher at Hickman High School in Columbia, Missouri, and used to surround his students with living animals, believing their value was more important than dissecting dead ones. He, he just loves to teach, um, and you know he just loves to share it. The knowledge that, that man has is phenomenal. Most falconers say the big loser as a result of the undercover sting operation could be the bird itself, because people like Jeff Peters will never again be able to handle birds of prey. And one of Peters' goals was to reintroduce the peregrine falcon to the bluffs of the Missouri River, last seen here in the late 1800s. The government says more indictments are coming, which will prove a black market did exist. But until then, of all the people who have pled guilty as a result of Operation Falcon, Peters has been the most severely punished. In fact, through a quirk in the law, had he killed the bird, his punishment in all likelihood would not have been as stiff.